Anna, and hello, lovelies. Okay, I know it's been a really long time since I've recorded a video, let's be honest. Um, entirely too long, I'm sorry. And honestly, I have been recording kind of like a few things here and there throughout the past few months. I literally don't think I've uploaded since August. That is crazy. You guys, I went from every other day to like once a week to like once, maybe mm, twice a month, and then once like a month, and then every few months, and then like once in a blue moon, and then kind of like not at all. I'm sorry. I promise I'm coming back. Um, I made a video back in like s September that I was going to like just post and not edit, or at least just add like the intro and outro songs and like title cards. That's what you call that, right? I don't know. Clearly, I know nothing about this. Uh, like, everything I do in life, I'm just kind of winging it. Um, and I was going to post it. I'm talking about, like, how I wouldn't be posting a whole lot this semester because, like, hygiene school and everything. And that ended up being true. It was super busy. Notice I said was. This is so frustrating. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not okay. Anyways, I ended up having to, like... I don't know how to word it. I guess essentially withdraw or like drop is the proper word, but like drop kind of implies that I'm not going back. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Regardless, I had to withdraw from my glasses because I had some crazy health stuff going on. I don't really feel like delving into it too much because like I'm still dealing with it and it's super annoying. <laughs> and um, I don't know, I'll just say this, it affected like my motivation for like everything, and okay, you can kind of guess what I'm relating to there, but at the same time, it's fine. Anyways, basically like the health issues I was dealing with caused a bunch of other stuff, and I like wasn't sleeping, and I was dealing with like a lot of anxiety, like worse than I've ever had in my entire life, and like a lot of depression. Anywho, you know, just crap that like I wasn't expecting to deal with, but like have to deal with, and am currently dealing with. And yeah, and it sucks because again, I'm like one of those people that's like, just don't focus on that, like focus on like the homework and studying and I don't have time for any of this other stuff, but like sometimes life throws you a curveball and as much as you don't want to deal with it, you have to. So <laughs> that's kind of where I'm at now and it's all good. I was, I'm still so frustrated about it and like very upset because anytime I think about it, I just feel like a failure. So <laughs> that's fun. But the thing is, though, I got to like give myself some credit because I talked with the coordinator and she was so, so nice. And she's like, we're going to save your spot because she's like, you are like a good student. Your grades were good. Like, it's OK. It's not that I want to withdraw or like feel like I can't do it. It's that I like have to because of like the health issues were like only getting worse and not better. And I tried to give myself time. So we like talked and she was like, look. I don't want you to like be putting school above your health, so it's gonna be okay. You got next year, it's okay. And I was like, oh, I really don't want to, but I was like, it's fine. And I cried a little, and she was so nice, and she hugged me. And then the next day, I met up with her and like had to empty out my locker and my cubby and my drawer, so many things. <laughs> and it was so sad. And I saw one of the girls who was a senior who like. I knew from chemistry and she said hi to me and I was like hi and then she was like looking at the box in my hands and like I could tell she wanted to ask me what was going on but like didn't because like it was awkward and it was so sad <laughs> so that day was like the worst and I tried so hard to just like I don't know I guess I kind of thought it was just like stress at first and like being overwhelmed like starting a new semester which like everyone kind of is overwhelmed at first right and I was like I just need to get into a routine like it's only been like I think it was what four weeks it's so crazy. It, my god. It felt so much longer, but like also so much shorter. Anyways, um, the program was like intense and like, yeah, sure, like the studying was like a lot and I had to like figure out new ways to study, but it was fun. I was having fun. Like literally, I mean, again, like, you know, school is stressful, but it was like, I was genuinely enjoying what I was learning. And like, other than like Spanish, <laughs> I've had like, mm, one other class that I like genuine, genuinely enjoyed learning, but like, yeah. And I mean, I always do the thing where I'm like, okay, just like get through it. It's school. It's fine. Everybody has to do it. But like with college, it's different because you can like choose. So 
I don't know, but like it's so weird because up until like this year, I'd always been working towards dental hygiene. So I was like, do this. It's for like your career in the future. So then like this year, I was just like so into it and like focused. And I don't know, like I just got so caught up in like trying to like study and focus and like not worry about myself that it ended up making everything worse. And I was just like trying to not pay attention to all the warning signs. It's like, just don't think about anything. Like, it's fine. Just think about this. And I don't know, like so much happened and I like couldn't sleep. And I was just like, I'm trying to have fun. Like what's happening? And I was like, maybe I'm stressed about homework. So I tried to do homework and I like... <sighs> It was so weird, I like couldn't even focus on it. And then the moment where I like realized something was seriously wrong is when I tried to study and I like went to read and like the words were kind of like, I couldn't focus on the words. That makes sense, like the page was kind of like bouncing. This sounds like I'm like crazy, but whatever. I thought I was going crazy straight up. And then I went to the doctor, had blood work done, found out it was something physical and was like, oh, oh, so this is the issue, and then all this other stuff comes along with it. And, like, I'm still dealing with, like, the remnants of the stuff, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like the main thing I'm dealing with is, like, the side effects, which is, like, anxiety and, like, everything. And I still am not sleeping through the night, and that's the worst part because I, like, keep getting so down on myself for the fact that I had to, like, withdraw. But then I look at it, and I'm like, you're still not sleeping through the night though. Like you literally could not have done it. And that's like what the coordinator saw when I told her the whole story. And she was like, girl, like it is okay. Uh, it's two, a two year program. Like take a year, <laughs> take a break, take a breath and figure stuff out and you're gonna be okay. And yeah, and I emailed her like what? a week ago and we talked and she's like you are on the list for next year it is all good and I was like thank you because she said give her like an answer because she's like don't decide now because you can't like make rational decisions and I was like hello I know um I, she said that because like I told her I couldn't but yeah she could obviously see that because I was like falling apart in her office but anyways <laughs> literally on that drive home it's so weird because like when sometimes when you like make a decision you like think that like a weight will be lifted off your shoulders and then there's times you make a decision where like either side you pick is gonna suck because like had I stayed in the program I probably like would have failed not even joking not being in it I'm like oh my god I'm pushing my whole life back a whole nother year and I do this thing where I'm like pushing back school pushes back the wedding which pushes back being with Tyler forever which pushes back getting well obviously we're already together but like living together and like I feel like I need to say this but our forever has already started you know what I mean but just like us too we don't live together right now because it's just easier for both of us to live with our parents and I don't know it's just frustrating because like I want to you know like I'm ready for that next step but like at the same time am I um, but yeah so that was like withdrawing not withdrawing was like one of those decisions where I was like either way this sucks you know and that's like what I said to the coordinator and she's like oh <laughs> she's like I'm so sorry and I was like I know it sucks so much and she's like don't like get so down on yourself because like I was saying too I was just like sitting there kind of like bubbling I guess it's just like you know what I mean we're like you're crying but like not and I was like I feel so bad because I know had I known in the beginning of this year that this would have happened I wouldn't have started the program and my spot could have gone to someone else and she goes she like touched my hand she goes Aaron do not even worry about that and I was like you're so nice and that's making me feel worse uh but no she's a sweetheart anyways but I emailed her and she's like oh, I'm so excited that you're going to do it again. And I was like, yeah, I just, I really feel like I just needed time to like, you know, figure out what's going on. And then like, once I figure out what's going on, like solve the issue. And yeah, and I am solving all the health issues. It's just taking a long time because there's so much to figure out. And what's really frustrating is some people don't believe me and they think that I'm just like being dramatic or like needing an excuse to quit. And I'm like, the thing is though, I'm not quitting because I'm starting next year and I have all the books and everything. And I'm like studying, like I'm still in school, sort of. I need to study more, but like, you know, <laughs> when you're not sleeping, it's kind of hard. Um, yeah, I don't know. But then like, you know, I was just talking with McKenna and I was saying like, you look at your life and you look six months from now or like, okay, going back six months from right now, if that makes sense. So like looking back, <laughs> there we go. And like, my life was so different and it's like, it's so weird to think like, like looking back like life was so different like we went to a concert and like maybe that was in June but still I went to like Disney and it's like 
I don't know, like, in those moments, I was just, like, on cloud nine, and I'm, like, you know, like, life can't get much better than this, and, like, I knew I was starting the program, and I was kind of, like, nervous, and, like, kind of, like, I'm not gonna be able to do anything fun for the next two years, but, like, when I was in it, I was, like, oh, I can see why I need to not do anything fun, because I need to, like, study and focus, which, like, I've never had a problem with with school, so it's just, it's so weird to me, because, I don't know, like, my dad even said, like, I'm one of those people that's such a perfectionist that, like, when something doesn't go like perfect on the first time I try it I get pissed which is true and yeah like I don't know I've even experienced that with like editing because like if it doesn't work I'm like okay well time to throw the computer away <laughs> but sometimes life just like hands you things where you just need to like you know learn a lesson and it's very annoying because like kind of wish someone could have just like sent me a letter saying this and I'd have been like oh you're right but <laughs> I don't know that doesn't make sense but yeah but basically I just wanted to say hello I'm still here I'm alive currently and <laughs> plan to be for a while anyways that's not a good joke and okay what was that cool I'm just gonna ignore that McKenna literally snapped me right as I like saw something move over there so that's cool um she like probably knows <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird because anytime I'm like in a weird like state of mind McKenna will snap me and I'm like this girl like literally I don't even know how to describe it but like girl you're there for me and I appreciate it and I hope that I can be here for you and I snapped her a second ago saying if she needed me to snap me back and she just did so I need to end this because like I need to be there for my girl the whole point is though sorry I haven't uploaded um yeah so I don't know what else to say but, um, I'm still here. I plan to keep doing YouTube. I do have a bunch of videos. <laughs> when I say a bunch, it's, like, literally probably, like, at least ten, probably more, that I need to, like, edit and upload. And some of them are, like, from, like, March and, like, February. Maybe even, like, straight up there is one from December of last year. And by one, I mean there's two, but it's fine. I still have a video where I show taking down all the posters from my old bedroom. Oh, that was so sad. Anyways, and I, I literally filmed that so long ago. It's, like, almost a year ago. But you know what? It's fine. I'm still gonna upload it because, like, you know, why not? It'd be so, so dumb to just record it, just, like, throw it away. There are some things I recorded that I'm not going to post, but that's fine. Anyways, I straight up feel like there's someone standing outside of my door and it is stressing me out. So I'm going to go like take off my makeup and investigate and probably get murdered. But anyways, um, ooh, McKenna's typing again. Okay, I gotta go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and for listening. I'm probably going to edit this to where it looks like it's one fluid thought, but just know that it wasn't. And there might even not be a way for me to edit it to make it seem like, you know, coherent and consistent, but... Hopefully I can. Sorry I'm touching my face. Really, really in the middle of my outro. You couldn't wait in five seconds? Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, whenever that may be. Um, stay happy. Stay positive. Know that life is so beautiful and it's going to be okay. And I'm talking to myself mostly there. And also you guys. And if you need anything, leave me a comment. Just don't be weird. Okay. Till the next time. Signing off. Goodbye. I feel so bad. I know I've touched my hair like 17 times in this video and I'm trying so hard to work on that, but like that's the least of my concerns right now. So if that bugs you, like unsubscribe. I'm sorry. Anywho, there we go. That's not what I wanted. Whatever. My hair looks like crap. It's fine. This, like, do you see this? The fact that it's separated really pisses me off. And that's why I touch it constantly because it does that too when I don't have it straightened. Okay, back to the freaking point. I can see myself editing so much of this already.